How's it going everyone? This is Tom. I'm here for episode 2 of the Mac Mini 2013 series. This is the series where we're going to build an awesome budget Mac. If you missed episode 1, I will link it in the top bar of the description. And this episode we have here is the RAM upgrade. We're going to be pimping this out with 16 gigabytes of RAM. The RAM that we'll be using is actually 16 gigabytes from Crucial. Now these are two sticks, both of 8 gigabytes. It's DDR3 memory, of course. This is compatible with the 2.3 gigahertz quad core. Mac Mini that we're using for this build. This RAM will be linked down below in the description. You can pick up 16 gigabytes for just $100. So let's just get straight into the upgrade. I have the replacement sticks here. Of course, the original sticks are in the Mac Mini, and this really couldn't be simpler. Uh, I'm not going to show you actually how to do it as in the uh, proper method as a, there's a couple of really good tutorials on YouTube already, and I'll link one from OWZ in the description. But you basically just kind of uh, open the top here, and it's really simple. You, to be honest, you could work it out without a video tutorial. It took me the best part of two minutes to replace the RAM. You just slide the thing around and then try and get it out just like that. I'd recommend tipping up the Mac Mini just so you can access it. Uh, and then you will be presented with the Mac Mini internals. As you can see, it's all very compact, very snug in there. Uh, and there is the RAM. These are the two blue sticks that uh, you can see just in front of you. So of course the sticks which you're going to swap back in need to be to hand. You just pull the two clips to the side, you should be able to get both of the uh, RAM sticks which were originally in the Mac Mini out no problem. They're slightly difficult, you don't need to be uh, overly cautious, however I would refrain from forcing things, just kind of just wiggle and stuff like that until they come loose and you should get both of them out like that. Once that second one is free, you'll just get the old RAM sticks, excuse me, the new RAM sticks which you're going to put into it. You want to do it the same side which the other ones were, so uh, I believe it's label side up. Uh, and just like that, you kind of need to make sure that it's quite firmly in. I originally didn't put one of them in far enough, so it was only really 8 gigabytes, and then I just corrected myself. Uh, you just really kind of need to make sure that they click, and then you press down just like that, and you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever, and you should be able to get both of them installed. Certainly not worth $200 for the premium which Apple charges to do it themselves. Once both of the sticks are fully in and complete, you can just grab the top of the Mac Mini casing uh, and screw it the opposite direction. You just line it up with these kind of uh, dots on the top and just twist. Again, you don't need to be too worried about forcing this as uh, it's just a slide mechanism, doesn't interact with the rest of your Mac. So you can press this as hard as you want to. You'll kind of need to actually kind of force it to get it to go round as I was expecting it to be uh, looser than it was, but it's not too bad. There we have it. That's part two of the Build an Awesome Budget Mac series. Once again, the 16 gigabytes of RAM that I use will be linked down below in the description. You can swap it out for eight if you don't think you'll need 16. If you missed part one, that link will be down below as well. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.